Audio Jungle. Animal suffering is a very real, sad occurrence, and Bruce is one of those animals that has suffered through many hardships. Not only was he abandoned in the streets, Bruce has gone through many bouts of illness. After being found in an alleyway, on a dark and stormy night, Bruce stunned everyone when he began changing colors. November 3, 2015 is a day that any animal lover should remember. It was the day that Bruce was found in his hometown of Auckland. New Zealand. This lovable feline has made it big on the internet, thanks to the adorable photos he's in. Bruce's life wasn't always sunshine and rainbows, though. Bruce has certainly had plenty of rainy days, including the day he was found on the verge of death. It had been raining hard on the day Bruce was found, and Catherine Van Beek had to take a different route to get home. As she was walking down an alleyway, she looked down to see quite a sight. At first she wasn't sure what she was looking at. Crawling on the concrete was a small, fuzzy creature. At first glance, the creature looked like a rat. When she looked a little closer, she realized it wasn't a rat, but she still couldn't quite make out what it was. Whatever it was, it was in very rough shape. No matter what it was, Catherine was concerned about its well-being. He wasn't meowing when I found him, Van Beek said. But he was crawling slowly along on his tummy. It was as though he was trying to find his mother, poor little mite, she recalled. His eyes were still closed, and he still had his umbilical cord attached. Since there was no mother to be found, Catherine knew if she left him there alone, he was sure to die. It was truly a sad situation. Catherine, like many people, is an animal lover at heart. Not thinking twice about it, she rushed the tiny creature to her house in order to get it out of the rain. Since she had a small, dying kitten in her care, she knew she had to save it. But first, the kitten needed a name. Catherine named it Bruce Wayne because they both were orphans at a young age. Naming an animal is easy, now making sure they don't die, is the hard part. It was unclear whether or not Bruce would survive those first few days of life. He didn't make any kind of noise and seemed like he was incredibly sick. Bruce was put under 24-hour surveillance because he was entirely too sick to be left alone. Catherine said that he was so bad off that even the slightest breeze could have ended his tiny life. After three months, Bruce gave Catherine a small, yet game-changing, surprise. The whole time Catherine was nursing Bruce back to good health, she was updating her co-workers on his condition. Over time, Catherine decided to put Bruce's story on the internet. I was working for Auckland Council at the time, Van Beek said. They were really interested, so I started a Facebook page to keep everyone updated. Catherine was only expecting a few people from her work to like the page, but then Bruce became internet famous. It only took a few months for the Bruce the Cat Facebook page to rapidly gain followers. Bruce was famous. At first it was a real life and death battle, and then I thought interest might fade, Catherine said of Bruce's popularity. People didn't lose interest, though. They were too emotionally invested in the well-being of this tiny cat. He became a symbol of hope to his followers. Soon after becoming famous, something began happening to Bruce something strange. It seemed that Bruce's chameleon fur was a condition contracted immediately after birth, called fever coat. If the mother goes through upheaval during pregnancy, which can be caused by infection or stress, fever coat is passed on to the newborn kittens. The illness is the reason the kitten's fur was gray. The body just doesn't seem to know that color the cat's coat will be for months. The illness was harmless to Bruce but it sure did gain him quite a bit of online popularity. Catherine didn't expect Bruce to become so popular with the internet community. He started turning black, so that interested people, she said. Catherine sure did make the best out of her pet's newfound fame. What was only a single Facebook page, quickly turned into having a page on every social media outlet imaginable. 
Catherine made sure to update the Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube accounts with adorable pictures of Bruce's adorable transformation. But social media wasn't the only place for his cuteness.